Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Scott Francis, Superintendent of Berkeley Schools. The cities and school districts of Royal Oak and Berkeley are proud to announce this joint Martin Luther King Jr. Day event for the entire community to remember, participate, and honor Dr. King. Today you will hear from members of the community on how Dr. King's message and work has impacted them. You'll hear uplifting music from Berkeley School students and messages from students from both districts. Also today, January 16th, 2023, we are marching together to show our support for Dr. King and his mission to advocate for civil and economic rights. If you see us in the Berkeley High School neighborhood this morning, please come out and join us. We are also collecting donations at the Berkeley High School until noon today to support the Redford Brightmore Initiative, Cass Community Social Services, the Judson Center, and Royal Oak First Methodist Church. These groups help so many people and they are in need of toiletries, non-perishable food, diapers, and much more. We have a full list on our website at romi.gov backslash MLK. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you'll be inspired to give back to your community and enjoy the program. In celebrating the life and legacy of the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, we must not only honor the lessons he taught us and the important changes for which he inspired us, but the deep-seated love he held for our nation and its future. Take the first step in faith, Dr. King once said. And he went on to say, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. Because his dream was a nation and a world that never stopped striving to be better, despite inevitable adversities and challenges that we face. So as we commemorate this MLK Day, let's do so by recommitting ourselves to service, to progress, to standing against injustice, and above all, let's rededicate ourselves to a better future together. Thank you. service in celebration and in memory of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We draw inspiration from his legacy where all of us come together to serve our community, not just in his honor, but in the dream and vision that he had for this nation and in this world. It is also a time where we get together, people of all walks of life, where we work together, we put down our divisions, and we do something for the common good. We inspire each other just like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. inspired all of us. Next, we'll hear from a talented speaker who is also the diversity and equity consultant for Oakland Schools. He has nearly 20 years of experience, continually focused on pursuing equity and maximizing impact. He has held the roles of mentor, teacher, advocate, community organizer, school district equity leader, and DEI consultant and leadership support. He is driven by a passionate commitment to service and a deep love for people. Please join me in welcoming Cornelius Godfrey. Hi, my name is Cornelius Godfrey, and I serve as the Diversity and Equity Consultant for Oakland Schools. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. 
Now, many of you are probably familiar with some parts of Dr. King's famous I Have a Dream speech. You may also be aware of his work leading to the Selma bus boycotts. And you may have learned about the history-making march on the Washington Mall in 1963. These are all remarkable events in the equally remarkable life of the Dr. King we celebrate every year. But what if I told you that while he was alive, and even after his assassination, Dr. King was not held as the hero he's seen as today? During his life, Reverend King was seen as a troublemaker by many, an instigator and a rabble rouser. As the most prominent leader of the nonviolent demonstrations, which were designed to hold a mirror to the ugliness of segregation, King's work was unsettling and a disruption to systems hundreds of years in the making. Even those that viewed the civil rights cause as honorable still preferred a quieter pathway toward social change. And negative feelings toward Dr. King weren't just palpable, they were quantifiable. Gallup polling from 1966 showed that 63% of participants had an unfavorable view of Dr. King. And you might wonder how public opinion could have changed so drastically. Well, it's difficult to say with any degree of certainty, but it may be that the King of today, the one celebrated every January, the one pictured in textbooks and quoted and misquoted by politicians, may not be the same as the one from the 1960s. Maybe the out of context references to the line from the I Have a Dream speech signal a dilution of King's true message and meaning. And if that's true, what can we do to preserve the actual legacy of Dr. King? And what lessons can we learn from the shift in his public perception? Well, preserving Dr. King's legacy starts with going beyond speech snippets. You know, the ones we've all heard so often that their meanings are clouded. The good news is that the amount of King's works, recorded speeches, interviews, writings, makes connecting with his real thoughts and philosophy very easy. The public record is full of King's words and works. Familiarizing yourself with more of his thinking will help you keep his work alive. And if there are lessons worth learning from the change in his public perception, these might be among them. First, it's clear that some of the most meaningful work can be misunderstood in the beginning. For some Americans, the discomfort experienced at seeing violent segregation in action on the evening news was more important than the real world experiences of Black Americans. Many of those viewers, however, will come to realize the urgent need for change. Which leads us to another important lesson. People can, in fact, change. In 2011, 94% of Americans had a favorable view of Dr. King. That figure includes 89% favorable views from participants 65 years old and older. The same segment of the population held unfavorable views of King at the rate of 63% 45 years earlier in 1966. In other words, just because an individual or group holds a particular view today, it doesn't mean they'll continue to hold that view into the future. And in light of that, one final takeaway could be to never give up. True change makers recognize that important goals are accomplished over time through consistent and collaborative effort. As much as we'd like to see fast progress, change tends to be on the slow side. So it's important to stay focused, but also to take breaks and care for yourself and those around you. When asked about his ministry and work toward civil rights, Dr. King cited an inner urge to serve humanity. As we celebrate the many brilliant ways that urge manifested itself, let us connect with our own inner urge so that we can serve humanity and serve it well. Happy Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. This quote was by Dr. King. Um, personally, I like this quote because it kind of shows how he is more than just, I have a dream speech, and that he persevered through all of his issues that he faced during this time and was still a motivational speaker and made it possible for this world to be what it is today. 
Martin Luther King Jr. performed activism with both Jewish people and LGBT people, and as a Jewish lesbian, that holds a lot of personal significance to me because I know if the three communities band together and support each other instead of stabbing each other in the back, uh, we can really overcome any threat the world has to throw at us. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, birthday is a very important day um, for us to not only reflect on the sacrifice, the commitment, and the dedication that uh, Martin Luther King had towards making this world a better place, but also for us to um, think about um, continuing uh, the work that he did and um, improving and making this place um, an even better um, world for the future. Martin Luther King Jr. inspires me by his ability to have led this mass movement even when there was thousands if not millions of people that were fighting against him daily and loudly. He was still able to like keep his goal and his message out there without shifting or becoming violent when people were being violent towards him and his group and it inspires me to hopefully enact even close to the same amount of change that he did in the same amount of way. To me, Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy represents the power that words have. He was never destined to be famous or born famous. He was made famous by his words and the way they affected people and the minds he was able to change during his time. Why I think Martin Luther King's day is important is because it shows the impact that has been, that he has made for future people and future generations. And I believe that the impact is important and we can build off of that and make even more improvement for our lives. Hello, I'm Mary Beth Fitzpatrick, Superintendent of Royal Oak Schools. Next, the students of Berkeley Schools will sing Circle of Peace for us. Please welcome fifth grade students from Pattengill Elementary School. We Although achieving racial justice and equity are among his chief successes, the importance of Dr. King's work still resonates with us today as we navigate new challenges to today's desires for racial equity and social justice. In the wake of those aforementioned successes lie perhaps his most important legacy left for us to uphold. When we are presented with challenges to racial and social justices, we rise to meet those challenges united as people in the spirit of nonviolence to ensure equality and equity for all. This legacy is best expressed in his letter from Birmingham Jail of 1963. In April of 1963, Dr. King led his Southern Christian Leadership Conference to support and participate in a peaceful, peaceful nonviolent demonstration to end lunch counter segregation, as well as racial discrimination in hiring processes in Birmingham, Alabama. After being harassed and endangered by police dogs and fire houses, he and other protesters were imprisoned. In response to eight white clergymen criticizing his methods, Dr. King wrote a dense letter about the importance of his methods not just for lifting up the voices of the community of color, but for all marginalized and largely silenced voices in America.
Martin Luther King Jr. main purpose, and I have a dream speak, is to urge all people to peacefully work together for racial equality. King's audience is the African American who's been suffering under segregation and discrimination. He wants them to work towards racial justice peacefully without using physical force. So Dr. King's methods of nonviolent protest has influenced a lot of different minority groups like um, women, other minority groups as well, to just protest in a very peaceful way instead of rioting and all these other things. Um, so I think we continue to use Dr. King's methods of nonviolent protest because it doesn't give the other side more like ammunition or like it doesn't allow them to feel the fire to, to them saying like, no, we're not going to grant you this social justice because you guys were being violent or you guys were like protesting in a way that harmed other people. If you do it um, peacefully and nonviolently, there's no reason for them to get mad at you. Dr. King valued nonviolence and demonstrated it in his protests and showed that it is an effective way of achieving change. This is still used today during protests and movements. Dr. King not only helped to obtain racial and social justice for those who were marginalized and discriminated against in the 20th century, but the legacy of his work gave us a template to use to continually ensure that all people were created equal and would receive the dignity of true equality and equity in the future and in all future situations. In honoring him, his work, and the work of countless other social justice leaders, we are reminded of the tools they give to future generations to carry on the work, whether and whatever it is needed. Thank you to our students for sharing their messages with us. They are passionate and committed to making a difference in the world, inspired by those that came before them. Good morning, I'm Bridget Dean, Mayor Pro Tem for the City of Berkeley, and it is a distinct honor to be invited to address this gathering assembled to commemorate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It is especially significant that this event brings together the neighboring school districts of Berkeley and Royal Oak, as well as the leadership of our respective communities. Working together is more powerful than the efforts of each of us alone. Conversations about race, equity and injustice raise topics that are well chronicled in our history, more often in the breach than in the observance. The divisions that plague our nation remind us that despite the progress that has been made, significant headwinds still exist. Therefore, it remains the challenge for all of us, public servants, to appeal to the better angels of our nature, as Lincoln advised. Today, we gather to reflect on the life and teaching of Dr. King. Martin Luther King Day is not a day off, as our theme suggests, but as a call to action to create a more just society, to honor the dignity of every person and heal our divided land. As leaders, we must be aware of the destructive nature of implicit bias. It is essential that each of us spend some time in personal reflection, challenging the unconscious biases handed down in our culture. So, such introspection will diminish the effect of that bias in our lives and foster a more equitable disposition toward one another. It is our task to make policy decisions that help extinguish the biased practices of the past and inspire the creation of communities in which all are affirmed, black and white, Jew or Gentile, gay or straight. This day affords us the opportunity to recommit to working together to enable the dream of Dr. King to come to pass so that, quote, little children will one day live in a nation where they will be judged not by the color of their skin, 
but by the content of their character. For us in this time and place, let us harness the energy to live by our creed that all are created equal. May your deliberations today help propel us to that goal. Thank you. Thank you to everyone for sharing your inspiring words and for being a part of our virtual program today. We have been partnering on this Day On event for the last six years. We are so proud of how our communities come together to celebrate and honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We hope you will join our school districts and cities in continuing the important work of striving for justice and equity for all. We are committed to keeping diversity, equity, and inclusion at the forefront of our schools to create an environment where all staff, students, and community members feel a sense of belonging. The greater community can all honor Dr. King by joining us and doing the same. Thank you so much to everyone for watching our virtual program.